Right, so one of today's jobs is going to be to start trying to repair some of the rust that's going along the sliding door runner. As you can see it looks as though water has got in as well as loads of crap and crud over the years and because it'll have just been sat in the runner itself it's just started to slowly corrode away. So what I'm going to be doing is getting uh, some wire brush attachments like drill attachments. I'm going to be stripping as much of this back to as bare metal as possible and then I'm going to be applying some hammerite corrust to it. Uh, that, uh, the hammerite corrust is a uh, rust inhibit inhibitor so it should stop the progression of any further rust coming through on the metalwork and it should also convert any remaining rust that I don't get ground off uh, back into a more solid, uh, more structural uh, metal. It's still not going to be as uh, good as brand spanking new metal but this is such an awkward area to actually work on uh, it would cost a fortune to try and get this into a body shop and get it replaced with another uh, tray so I'm going to get as much of the rust fully stripped off as possible before I even start treating anything obviously the more you can get rid of it in the first place the better it's going to be for the treatment uh, ideally you want it back to as close to bare metal as possible if you can get it all the way back to bare metal and get rid of all the rust pitting as well that's even better but I doubt I'll be able to get into all the little nooks and crannies along the uh, the actual runner itself especially right into the corner there it's going to be a bit awkward access but I, see I do have some drill attachments with uh, wire brush attachments on those so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get into all of the channel that needs attention doing to it get as much as as much of a strip back as possible apply the hammerite corrust let that dry and do its uh, reaction to convert any of the rust back into a more solid metal then I'll give it a paint over with hammerite paint as well which should also help protect it from any further rust uh, ingress in the future I'm also going to go underneath and just give the underside also a good wire brush down and again another painting of hammerite there as well so I'm going to crack on I'm also going to repair this step as well i'm going to grind all that rusty area back there as well the rest of the, the main step itself is good condition the only area of concern is around the drainage hole so again i'm going to strip all that back with the wire brushing as well and paint that with the hammerite after applying some crust to that as well so i'm going to go get the tools out uh, all of my uh, wire brush attachments the hammerite crust and crack on and i'll show you the progress as we go through the day so that's pretty much the tools that's going to be for the job. Uh, different types of wire brush drill attachments, just to get rid of all the crap. Uh, some of the crust, you apply that onto the metal as soon as you've got rid of all the crap. And then once that's dried, I'll be giving it a paint over with hammerite as well. So I'm going to get the attachments onto the drill and start grinding back all of this uh, rusty metal work. So that's the vast majority of the surface rust all removed with the wire brush. There's still a few bits that I still want to try and tidy up a bit more but I don't really want to be cutting or heating into the metal so I'm going to be using just a flap disc for a grinder. Uh, they're quite forgiving discs, uh, they won't just grind straight into the metal, again they're just more for taking off surface material. So I'm going to use this and go all the way along this front section as well before I treat this. I've already done inside all the way along the channel with the, uh, the steel brush and that's cleaned it out really nicely compared to what it was. Still needs a, a bit of a wipe down in that but uh, compared to what it was the vast majority of the surface rust in the actual channel itself is all gone. So it's getting ready to be prepared with the crust. But still I want to try and get it that little bit better so I'm going to use a flat disc on this very front part as well just to try and get that all nice and smooth and back to some bare metal. Right, so I've been along the full runner now with uh, both the wire brush and also the flat disc on the grinder. And as you can see, that's all down to bare metal now. I've got rid of as much of the pitting as possible. But obviously I can't go too deep because if there's any severe pit in it might actually break through the, the metal and obviously I don't want to do that. So I've got it back to as bare metal as possible with as little pitting in the metal work as possible as well. So now that is going to be ready to have the 
hammerite crust applied. So I'd say whenever you're applying the crust onto any sort of metalwork, you do want to try and have it as stripped back as much as possible. You don't really want to be applying it on top of any paintwork. You want to be applying it to as much bare metal as possible and ideally as much rust free metal as well. So that's why I've finished uh, grinding and uh, wire brushing all the way along the side there. I've also done underneath as well so that's going to get a treatment as well underneath the actual step and inside the step as well I'm going to be treating all of that. That was a bit more awkward to get into with the wire brush. I couldn't really get into it with the flat disc because uh, the grinder just hits the actual the main tray. So I've been all the way along it with the wire brush getting rid of as much surface material as possible. So again that's ready to be treated as well as the hole at the top there. As I say I've got rid of all of the uh, affected rusty metal work around there, ground it back to good metal again. So again that's going to be getting treated with the I'm right corrust as well, so I'm going to get a brush out, get some of that applied. I'll have to leave it about an hour for it to dry, and then I'll be able to paint on top of it with the normal I'm right paint. So there's step uh, stage one done. All of the areas prepared, all the paintwork's gone, all the rust is gone. The vast majority of the rust pitting is gone. As I say, the only bit that is left is where I don't really want to break through into the metal like that. I can see that if I keep going at that, that will break through into the other side because it is just relatively thin metal anyway. So I've got it ground back to as much as possible, a nice flat surface. So now it's time to paint the crust on and let it do its stuff. Now when you are applying the uh, corrust to any affected metalwork, uh, you should actually start to see it react quite quickly. You should start to see it turn in a purpley blue haze. If it doesn't start to turn that colour, you might need to reapply it, uh, especially considering that's what it says in the instructions as well. But you should see a reaction pretty quickly really. Uh, I mean I've literally just applied that there and you can already see it's starting to turn a blue colour. Uh, so obviously that's going to be getting a good coating over that area. Uh, but even where there's just bare metal work it should still react to it and it should still give it a protective coating so you want to give it a good smothering with the crust make sure you get in into every nook and cranny that you can uh, you don't want to be putting a brush back into the actual tub so always try and use like a little separate tub when you're using this because you don't want to contaminate the crust with any sort of uh, flaky metal work that might be on the brush so I'm going to crack on, get the rest of this painted, get the underside uh, painted with the crust and I'll show you it uh, doing its reaction. It's been about 15-20 minutes since I applied the crust now. Uh, you can see the metalwork itself has all reacted quite nicely. It's all turned to a nice bluey black colour which means it's reacted with any of the rust that might have still been within the metal and hopefully it should kill it off stop any progression and uh, protect the actual metalwork that is remaining. Uh, if there's any metalwork where there's it's still shiny that means that that metalwork was pretty much still good there wasn't any effect in uh, rust getting into that part of the metal. So I'm just now waiting for the little bit of runoff to dry just because it's uh, gone into a channel any extras just ran into that very bottom gully there so I just need that to dry off then it's going to be a good painting. Right so that is the rust repair of the sliding door step fully complete now. So as I've pretty much shown in the video earlier on I've ground everything down to as much bare metal as possible. I've applied the hammerite rust. I left that dry overnight. I was going to paint it the same day but uh, a rain interfered so I, I just had to close the door up leave the rust to uh, basically cure overnight and then the following day I've gave this a full smothering of black hammerite paint and uh, all of the rust on the underside of the runner as well that's all being treated and taken care of as well as any of the metalwork underneath the actual sill as well that's also being ground back treated with the crush and treated with hammerite so in theory that should be a fully rust treated sliding door step shouldn't be any further rust issues with this area of the van uh, the crust stuff is uh, it says it's good for years to come as well as the hammerite paint as well so in theory any rust that might be trying to encroach into this metalwork 
should be getting stopped in its tracks by the crust and the hammerite paint and there should be barely any, if any at all, further rust coming through on the step itself. So the only thing I've got left to do now, literally, is just fit the plastic step on the top and that is everything done. So I hope you found the video useful and uh, there's other videos of my uh, treating items with uh, rust corrosion on my channel as well. I'll be doing some more as well because this fan does have a few rusty places so anywhere where this fan does have rust I will be grinding back and treating that with rust as well in the future. So by all means subscribe to my channel, have a look on there. Other useful videos on there, everything from camper van conversion videos to rust, conver uh, rust treatment videos. So I'd say have a look on there and uh, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, feel free to do the usual YouTube stuff, rate the video, like it, uh, feel free to subscribe, share it, all the usual YouTube stuff, I'm sure you know what to do. And as I say, I hope you found the video useful. That's how I have personally treated the entire sidestep of my VWT4 and removed all the rust and treated it for future protection. I hope you found the video useful. Cheers.